Hi, I'm Marcy. For those of you who don't know me, I'm mom of four. My youngest is Freya. That took a second. <laughs> she has a rare syndrome called Cornelia DeLange syndrome. Um, we're doing good over here. We're just doing the summertime craziness, uh, swim lessons and gymnastics and therapy and all the fun things that summertime brings. And I don't really have a lot to share today. We have a lot of doctor's appointments and therapy appointments coming up. So I will have a lot to share in the next couple weeks. But I did think it would be a lot of fun to share kind of Freya's weight journey. We get a lot of questions on her weight and how big she is and how old she is. And um, a lot of people don't know Cornelia DeLange syndrome has its own weight chart because our kids are so teeny tiny. They do not follow the growth chart of a typical kid whatsoever. So I thought it would be fun to go through and show you guys some pictures of Freya in her four years of life and about what she weighed at the time and kind of our journey through that. So Freya was born at just over four pounds, which quickly went down to three pounds, six ounces, I think was the least she weighed. She quickly got an NG tube for all her feeds because she was not eating enough to gain weight. By the time we went home, she was back up to her birth weight, which was fantastic. While we had the NG tube at home, we had a home nurse come and check her weight twice a week, I believe it was. And here she was at five pounds. That NG tube was working great. I was pumping at the time and feeding her my breast milk mixed with a little bit of formula for some added calories. And I swear that is all I did was pump and feed that girl for months and months. Here is when they really started worrying about her weight, which I think is ironic because I see those cheeks and rolls now and think how chubby she was. This was right before the world shut down because of COVID. Freya ended up getting RSV and it really kicked her butt. She lost, I think, almost a whole pound during this time. She just slept and wouldn't eat. But as soon as she recovered, she started eating solid foods by mouth and that really helped with her weight gain. Here she is at nine months old and she had just hit the 10 pound mark, which was fantastic. Here she is right on her first birthday. That's when we found the squishy pouches, which I could make my own purees with, with extra calories and put them in these reusable pouches and Freya loved them. She loves feeding herself. So at her 18 month appointment, I was told again that she needed to gain more weight. So here she is eating a Milky Way bar, trying to fatten herself up. It honestly was so taxing and mentally just took up so much space in my brain. I could think of nothing else other than trying to get her to gain weight. Even though she was in the 50th percentile on the CDLS chart, the doctors were worried that she still was so tiny. But here she is at about 20 months, I believe, and she had gained weight and was 13 pounds, four ounces, which seemed amazing and fantastic to me. The doctors still were a little worried, but this was the time that they stopped putting so much pressure on me. I told the doctor that I did not want to come to doctor's visits because I knew he would be on me about her weight and I it made the experience so terrible for me, I dreaded going to the doctors. And at that point, he decided that he was going to take a step back and it was going to be okay. Um, here she was at 15 pounds, 14 ounces doing great, eating food, taking drinks of water, but shortly thereafter, she started having a lot of trouble swallowing and lost an entire pound. So she was back in the 14 pound range and you can see here, this was actually at our doctor's visit. She looks so skinny 
and just was not feeling good. I went to that doctor's appointment telling the GI doctor that I was ready for a feeding tube. And that was when she was diagnosed with EOE and we changed her diet completely. We took out all allergens and she started gaining weight back slowly but surely. He also put her on a very high dose of reflux medication to help with that. So here she was and was back up to 16 pounds, four ounces, which was a weight gain of, I think about a pound and a half at that point, which was fantastic. The reflux medication was working so well. And here she is crawling toward food because she was hungry again and wanted to eat all the time all the things, which made us so happy. And here she is at 17 pounds, no, 17 pounds, 12 ounces. You can see her cheeks are starting to fill back out. And then this is just recently we weighed her and she was above 19 pounds, which is amazing. She's right where she should be for her age on the CDLS growth chart. We're so proud of her and all the hard work she has put into eating and gaining weight. So I hope you guys enjoyed that quick little run through of Freya's weight and everything we have gone through to get to this point. She was so cute as a baby and all those baby pictures makes me miss baby Freya. Um, so far to date, she does not have a G-tube. That is not to say she won't have a G-tube sometime in the future because we know her weight and weight gain is kind of precarious and can change at any moment. So we keep a close eye on her and have her follow very closely for that. And whenever it shows that she is not growing the way she should, we will be signing up for that G-tube. So we know it is a life-saving thing and such a blessing to so many. So thanks for hearing our story and I hope you guys come back next time. Thanks.